Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is Watson Michael from Silala Institute of English and Leadership. And once again, we are honored to have Steve Silbiger back with us, who is the author of the international bestseller, The 10 Day MBA. Steve, welcome back. How are you doing I'm today? I'm glad to be here. Great. So, uh, Steve, congratulations with the release of the fifth edition. And um, how will this new edition help the chefs, doctors, entrepreneurs, engineers, and more? Because uh, why should non-business professionals know key things about business management? Well, anybody who owns a business, if it's a restaurant or a doctor, or anybody, the book covers all the subjects of business. If you're a person who's just a worker, they invest money, they would need to know things that are in the finance chapter, or just mm -hmm. to be aware of the business world around them, that, that has a major impact in their lives. Mm -hmm. uh, lawyers specifically, Ha, might be in a practice with other people and they'll need to know the the fundamentals of business. If one runs a bake shop, they would need to know the fundamentals of business. And that's what this does. Even if somebody isn't running any business, the knowledge is important. And like I said, if, if you have a, a nest egg that's invested in the stock market or mm. somewhere like that, those are businesses, and to understand yeah. those businesses, it helps to read the 10-day MBA. Wow, okay, right. So, uh, now, uh, once you release this book, did anyone give a feedback about the new edition? So, what did, so what did he or she say? People are very happy. It's a five-star book mm. on Amazon. Yeah. It's selling quite well. Uh, I'm very excited about that. The initial feedback is very good. Mm -hmm. uh, they like that it's been updated. You know, it's been 12 years since it was updated before uh, yeah. because of COVID. Usually it's every seven years. So it's been a mm -hmm. while. And there's just so much that has happened, you know, yeah. in 12 years. Uh, yeah. You know, AI was not a thing. Bitcoin mm. was not a big deal. There's just so many different turns in the market. COVID mm. didn't happen. Who could have figured that one out? Yeah. It's just so many things that have happened. There's been different, uh, different subjects that weren't taught before, and mm. they're all in the new book. Okay, great. So um, now it focuses on the new areas of AI, crypto, and ESG, which are all blended into the chapters. So can you give us some examples of those? Okay, AI is everywhere. It's integrated to everything. It's only started, but the differences between AI and crypto, AI is actually affecting real lives, actually doing real work mm -hmm. and I see that even in my current day, we took an old commercial at my at my job yeah. uh, that was done 15 years ago okay. in a very low re res resolution uh, photography. Okay. And I looked at it, I go, maybe we should rerun this commercial. Mm. And I've seen photographs that AI had made clear again and mm. Chris, and we used AI, and on this old commercial, it's running currently. It's called Mighty Mend It, and the commercial through AI became very high resolution, and it runs mm -hmm. on networks in the United States right now. Wow. And that's, that's a real way that it can happen. There's different chat bots, bots that I personally have used where you are speaking to a voice, the voice interprets what you say, and then it gives you answers for the most uh, common questions in a customer service area. Um, obviously, if it's something that it had not 
doesn't have, you know, uh, experience and then a live operator can come in, but so much of it is repetitive and that's where AI can come in. Uh, I've used AI, uh, researching topics and mm. I, uh, just to research new products and I use that and it's, it's a wonderful source of information. But again, AI, as I explain in the book, you need to check the sources because sometimes it makes things up. They call that mm. hallucinations. Yeah. So I'm very excited about it. Crypto, on the other hand, mm -hmm. uh, I explain how it started. Yeah. I explain how it works. I explain the mechanics of it. I explain how there's a, a, a bit of code in some server at Microsoft that the whole crypto blockchain is is based in this one program, okay. uh, Microsoft program, and a very small group of programmers who are not all that well paid control the whole thing. So I'm not a big fan of crypto. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you're going to have people that are very excited about it, and billions and billions mm -hmm. of dollars have been made. But at the end of the day, when the light gets turned off, it doesn't have a whole lot of value. You can't mm. really buy things with it. You can't use it in in commerce. It's basically for gambling. It's an investment gambling thing. And, you know, I explained it in the book, but I'm not saying that it doesn't have some uses because the mm. blockchain has a lot of uses. I explained yeah. those. The blockchain of keeping records is very valuable, but yeah. cryptocurrency is questionable. Mm. Yeah. I, I have a, an area in the book about that. Okay. Yeah. And the ESG bot. Oh, ESG? Yeah. You know, environmental social governance. Yeah. Uh, there's so many places, the examples of that, uh, where you want to have um, in your company to be, have the social awareness mm -hmm. that you're part of an environment, that you have a social responsibility to not pollute the environment. That's exceptionally important nowadays. Mm -hmm. I know you and your country are experiencing, experiencing great heat, yeah. unnatural heat. Yeah. which may be the result of China and the United States creating and India creating a lot of pollution in this world. So yeah. that's, that's one of it, you know, that's the environmental area, you know, you have social governance, which, you know, it really has a lot to do with having diversity in the workplace, uh, who are the real stakeholders in each company, uh, being progressive that everybody is included, that's an environment in the company that is favorable to men and women and people of diverse mm -hmm. backgrounds. Uh, so that part is handled in the book and you know people like it. And the, the number of edits and changes in the book are quite many. And I spent a good six to seven months working on it, not only wow. just me, but with other people. Other new graduates have reviewed the book and they get it. I had other people that are not business people read the, some of the chapters mm -hmm. that had large new areas and they read it and they go, I understand that now. That makes sense. And that's mm -hmm. how the book is. It's, it's all this learning pre-digested to make it as simple as possible. Absolutely. You, you call the important areas, right? Mm -hmm. So now uh, let's not uh, mention any names, but there are some education providing institutions, including big ones, okay, are creating similar courses with the shorter time frames. What I meant is like, mini MBA, MBA essentials, skills. So yes. you have written this book in an easy way to understand. 
So what is your message to a reader of your book? For those people, there are a lot of mini MBA courses mm. that, you know, even at the University of Virginia, the Darden School, they have one where mm. if you're a current executive for around 20 some thousand dollars, you go for two weeks and then they teach you fundamentals of business because you may be an engineer and they're looking at you and they say, you know, we would like to promote this person to a higher level and a more general management, but we want you to have more general business skills. That's what this book does. I believe that instead of $20,000 for mm -hmm. two weeks, why not spend $25 and stay at your job and just take one chapter at a time? Mm. Uh, there's a there was a technology company in New Jersey, which is yeah. near Pennsylvania where I live, okay. and there was a group of engineers, technical engineers, electrical engineers, and the boss, the owner of the company, had read my book. Okay. And so when he gave the task to this group, I believe it was six people, said, you guys buy this book and then get together each week and discuss one of the chapters. Okay. And after the end of the, and then at the end, they, uh, you know, they signed their diplomas and they were 10 day MBAs, but they had a lot of knowledge yeah. that helped them go from electrical engineers within their discipline to be general managers with this extra information, a general wow. education. And they were very thankful and they loved the book. And you can't get a better value than $25. And this book would not be 25 years old through five editions if it wasn't any good. I know like you love your children, people love their children and what have you. And I do love the book because I created it, but yeah. the world, the readers still buy it. They write me, they say, Hey, why don't you include this? Why don't you include that? And so the book has evolved over the years. Mm. It's got clearer and more concise and I'm very proud of it. Yeah. Right. So. Yeah, I still remember the day, right, when we went to the departmental store during office hours. We had to go somewhere, so we went to a departmental store. And I was searching for some books, all right. So I saw this 10-day MBA. I was like, okay, uh, let me take it. I still, I, I, I grabbed it. Then my friend, right, he was much senior to me. He, he told me, like, and my colleague that time, he said, well, how can you do an MBA in 10 days? <laughs> okay, so he doesn't have an MBA. All right, so I said, okay, and uh, no problem. And I bought it, right? And um, I completed it in 10 days. And that was also when I uh, started this uh, business deal, okay? It was lying for a long time. It, uh, I didn't uh, use it because I still have some books which I haven't read because I love buying books. So when I started my business, I thought, okay, now it's time for me to learn about this. And here you are, and later we, we got connected, right? So <laughs> Excellent. No, absolutely, on LinkedIn, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a small world. You're on the other side of it right now. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So, uh, uh, yeah. So now a skills-based hiring and skills-based education are on the rise. Okay. So uh, the current edition will help people to gain certain skills. Okay. So what are your views on that? What do I hear about it? Yeah, your views about it. My views, like at the end of the day 10, day 10, Mm. is mini courses and one of the mini courses that are in the back of the book it's not that many chapters but it gives my take on doing research on topics okay. if it's do you know going to the to the trademark uh, the united states 
patent and trademark office to see to name a product to mm. check out patents uh different ways to use syntax so that when you do a google search you do it more efficiently than you normally would to save time and get right to the point uh i include that uh, some of this stuff is not it's not so serious I, I have an MBA movie guide in the back. If you've checked that out, Watson, yeah. you know, yeah. and it talks about the 15 uh, movies that MBAs need to know and watch. Okay. And then there's a, a famous quote from that that you can use in conversation. So it's not all serious, uh, but, you know, there are serious sections to the book. There's a new section called crucial conversations in the organizational mm -hmm. behavior area yeah. and i boiled down one of the most famous books that is taught at mba schools now in the social area on having critical conversations mm -hmm. uh, at the workplace and in your own lives and i boiled that down to a page and a half yeah. uh, so different things are new like like we talked about but some of the stuff is tried and true, what it takes to put a marketing program together, a strategic marketing plan. You mm -hmm. follow the gu the guidelines. What is accounting and how does it work? Yeah. It's in the book. Uh, obviously, I update it. Uh, new things happen. There's new accounting scandals uh, in the marketing. There's new products you know, from the product life cycle standpoint, there's a whole new section on web marketing, which I use at work currently in my current job. Mm -hmm. And it explains a lot of what I do and how I advertise uh, products on the internet. And so if you're a person who has a small business and hires an ad agency, by reviewing the book and being able to walk that walk and talk the talk, you won't be taken advantage of. You'll be, you'll be a consumer that has a knowledge base and be a smart consumer of, of buying media for your small company or large company and all that type of stuff. There's, there's a whole new section on web marketing that didn't exist before. Wow, okay. So now that's something interesting for all the readers, right? And uh, when you said the, there was a gang, right, that got together and they read this book for 10 days or so and they gained immense knowledge, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, it will be very interesting if some people form a book club and uh, each guy takes a different chapter and um, they create something unique and you know uh, they can they'll have a lot of fun and they can gain immense knowledge okay even undergrads corporate people who are busy right so yeah they, you can, this book can you know connect people and it can be pretty fun great there was a company uh with the fourth edition in mexico okay. who okay. took the book and cut up the chapters and then supplemented it with in-class learning and they just used the book as the basis of their mini MBA course. Okay. And so it supplemented it, it provided the framework for in-class learning. But there's been other, other places. In Missouri, there was a, a college that did something like that and they just used the book as the basis of it and i'm happy about that i said yeah, you know yeah. if you want when you, you want to use the book for good i'm fine i'm good for that wow okay now that's interesting okay right <laughs> great so steve um uh, thank you very much for your valuable insights and for emphasizing about the fifth edition now can you give uh, a final message Sure. All our viewers and listeners. Just a final message. Yeah. I'm, my message for the book is that things look difficult and things are hard out there. Mm. But 
when you're armed with good knowledge mm. and with a background, those you don't make the mistakes you don't need to make. Yeah. If, if that makes sense. Like yeah. you can avoid, especially in a small business, you can avoid critical mistakes mm. when you're armed with good knowledge. And yeah. a lot of this is in my book. Mm. I created the book and, and it's still in there now is after you would see a case, read a case and go through it, you would learn like a certain, a learn certain kernel of knowledge mm. of wisdom, wisdom. Uh, and then all those kernels of knowledge are in my book. Mm. So that type of thing is really important for anybody. Uh, I'm open. My email is in the book. There's a 10 day MBA website that yeah. links to my Facebook page. Okay. So people can always get in touch with me that way. Uh, what they like about the book. I want to hear what they didn't like about the book. So it can be improved for the sixth edition. Yeah. But I'm very proud of the book and thank you so much for uh, having me on several times and yeah. we'll still have things in the future. Definitely, because there are many things to discuss, right? So the best anti-aging medicine is lifelong learning, mm -hmm. right? So we, we keep enhancing our knowledge, right? And I'm sure this book will help a lot, a lot of more people to gain immense knowledge and to expand theories into practical skills and keep improving. Yeah. What I'm looking forward to is in the future, when you come to the United States of Pennsylvania, yeah. we'll have the same discussion on your on your on your channel, yeah. but we'll be in the same place at the same time. Yeah. I see that in our future that you will be here staying at my house yeah. in Pennsylvania, the United States. And we'll have the next discussion live here, both of us in the same place, not on the opposite sides of the world. Yeah, that's yeah. a very good idea, Steve. That's a very good idea, right? So once again, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, too. My pleasure. Take care. You too.